ordinary dating. The other type of dating is end of month. E-O-M stands for end of month. Okay? Um, and what that means is you still have the same similar look. See how it has a 6-10? But notice then it has an E-O-M. Okay? Instead of the net. What this means is you get a 6% discount, and so you get a 6% cash, cash discount if you pay within 10 days, but this is different. It's not 10 days from the invoice. It's 10 days from the end of the month for when the, the invoice was issued. So this gives you more time to get a cash price. For example, if the invoice was issued on, let's say, April 1st, you would have until 10 days of the, after the next month. So you would get to go clear to May 1st and then 10 days after that. So you could still get the cash discount on May 11th. Okay, so when it's end of month, it gives you more time. Okay, it's not just 10 days from when they print the invoice. It's 10 days from the end of the month that they printed the invoice in. So if you're lucky and they print it like at the beginning of that month, that gives you a whole month and 10 more days to still get the cash discount. If you don't pay it by that time, then you have to pay, at least pay by the end of that month. So you would have to pay by the end of May. The full amount. So that's kind of the description that I took from the course down here. Um, it says end of May month dating extends a cash discount. Okay, it gives you more time. Starting within the first day of the month, following the shipment of goods for a certain number of days. It's different than ordinary dating, because ordinary dating counts the days starting with the invoice date. So not even that, it's um, when the goods are shipped is when it starts. And they will tell you the shipping date when they ask you questions. Now ordinary dating, remember, goes off the invoice date and only gives you a few days. This goes from the date your goods were shipped to you and you have clear that whole month and then however many days they tell you after the end of that month. Now, um, for example, they have an example down here. Okay? So if the terms were 6, 10, net, 20, EOM. Okay? Under these terms, an order may be filled and shipped on June 17th. So say they ship your order on the 17th. Your cash discount can be taken through July 11th because notice it's shipped on the 17th of June. End of month lets you go clear to the end of the month of June into July and you have to go 10 days after the 1st of July. You have until then. Okay, so July 11th. The net amount is due on July 31st. All right, so let's do some examples with end of month dating. So the invoice date is August 1st. The terms are 410 EOM. So we know, we know that means end of month. What is the percent of cash discount being offered? Oh, well, in this, remember, our cash discount percent is this first number. So in this, you're be, being offered a 4% cash discount. Okay, next, if the invoice date is September 1st and the terms are 510 EOM, by when must the invoice be paid? Okay, so our invoice date is September 1st. The terms are 5-10, so remember this is your percent. You get a 5% discount if you pay within 10 days of the first day of the next month. <laughs> So you can get your discount as long as you pay by okay, September 1st. You would have to clear until um, October. And if you paid by October 11th, you would still get the discount. But you can pay after that. Okay, This is an end of month. So this is just to get the discount. Um, you would need to pay by the end of that month in order to not be penalized. So it has to be paid by October 31st at the latest. To get a discount, you pay by October 11th, but if you miss that deadline, you still need to pay it by at least October 31st. You would just be paying the full amount. So 
So our answer here is October 31st. You have to pay by the end of the month after the month that the invoice was dated. All right, here's another. An invoice dated March 28 has terms of 410 EOM. The net price is $460.20. The invoice is paid by April 8th. Find the cash price using the complement method. All right, first thing I want to check is do they actually get a discount? Did they pay in time? The invoice was dated March 28th, and the terms are 4, so 4% 4 off if you pay within 10 days of the end of that month. So March, we have until the end of March, and then 10 days into April. So as long as you paid by April 11th, you would be okay. This person paid by the 8th. So they do get the discount. Now let's find out what their price is going to be. They don't have to pay the full $460.20. They get 4% off. They want us to use the complement method, so we take our 100% minus 4 to find out what percent they're paying, and they are paying 96% of $460.20. Move the decimal two places to the left, and then multiply. And I get uh, four hundred and forty-one dollars uh, and seventy-nine cents. It's point seven nine two, but two just makes us just stay when we round to the nearest cent. 